And so Paul is arguing, if I have invested eternal things in you, is it a big deal that I would request material things in response? He's like, I have this right, Paul says, and I've given you examples. There are examples of the other apostles. There are examples from the law of Moses itself. Nevertheless, he says in the second half of verse 12, nevertheless, we have not used this right, but endure all things lest we hinder the gospel. Amen. Paul is bringing to a head the purpose of this illustration. He's saying, I'm I'm not telling you all of this because I want you to give me your material goods. I'm telling you all this because I want you to understand that I have the right to ask for your material goods, but I haven't exercised that right. 